Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Arielle and today I'm going to be showing you my baby boy's nursery and how I organized it in a simple, realistic way for everyday use. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. As always, any of the products that I talk about today, I will leave links to them in the description box below for your convenience. So the first thing I want to talk about is the closet. Now, as you can see, this closet is fairly small. My first suggestion to you would be to really think about how you can utilize your closet space. This closet originally only had this one bar across the top with the shelf, and I had my husband add a second rod with a second shelf. I mean, baby clothes just are so tiny. It's just a lot of wasted space. And if you add that second rod, it just gives you so much more options to organize. So I definitely would recommend doing that if you are able to. Um, the next thing that I recommend are these bins. Now I have like stuffed animals in one. This one, I toss in any clothes that he's grown out of, and then later I'll put them in a container so we can use them in the future if we have um, another child. And then this one, it just has some odds and ends, a diaper changing caddy, and like a breast pump bag. But they're really nice bins to have. I got these off Amazon. Actually, if I remember correctly, you can get them in three different sizes, which is nice depending on the size of closet that you have. Another recommendation that I have is keeping a box for keepsakes. Now, I just have this here. I've tossed in like his ultrasound pictures, anything special that I can think of that I know I'm going to want to keep and show him later on in life. I throw it in that box and it's just like a really easy way for me to remember to do that because I'm just all about that keepsake life. So I uh, recommend doing that. My next recommendation is to hang everything, like even onesies and sleepers. I see a lot of people on YouTube folding these and putting them in drawers, but honestly, there's so many baby clothes that you get, and I feel like if they're in a drawer, they get forgotten about. And then they don't get used. So what I like to do is hang everything. And as I use something and I wash it and I rehang it, I put it in the back and I try to pull things from this side over. That way I use everything and I don't feel so guilty about having a bunch of baby clothes that I haven't been able to use. So that is definitely a good thing to do if you have a ton of clothes. Um, the next thing I recommend is buying these dividers, like for newborn, and then these say zero to three months, uh, three to six months, and then they go all the way to 18 to 24 months, and they come with all of these dividers for you to use. So we got gifted a bunch of hand-me-down clothes um, from family and friends. And a lot of them were just in like big sizes that he's not going to be wearing for a while. So it's nice to have them all hung up with the dividers. And that way I can just see what we have for that month period of time. It's just a really nice way to get a general idea of what you have. And then at the bottom, you can just have your laundry basket. Um, we have like a bouncer in the back that he's just not big enough for yet. Our diaper bag. Um, in the back, I have a bag for my breast pump. And then I have my, my breast friend pillow that I keep in there. Something I also recommend doing, this was a really great idea that someone gave me, is getting a um, laundry mesh bag for all of the little tiny socks and mitts and burp claws that get lost in the washer and dryer. It's a really nice way to keep them all in one spot so that when laundry's done, you just pull out that bag and you're not searching for these socks that are like this big. My next recommendation is to utilize the closet door. Now, I got this closet door organized system 
at the container store. I want to say the brand was called Alpha. Um, I will put it in the description box below. It's a really nice system. You can get different size baskets. I, I got a couple larger ones to put on the bottom just to hold some toys that I know we won't be using for a while. Um, our baby carrier. And then the other ones I got smaller bins for his shoes and his slippers. Um, I'm sorry, but look how cute these cowboy boots are. Um, so it's just like a really nice way to keep all of that stuff off of the floor and keep it nice and organized. So that's my suggestion as far as closet goes. My next recommendation is to get these holders from Ikea and hang your books up. I think it's a really nice and clean way to display all of your books. Um, I took one of them and flipped it upside down to use it as a shelf and then I thought it was cute just to hang a couple um, of onesies up there again just for color but I think it's a really simple way to just have all of your books organized and displayed. This is another really great product that I recommend. It's from Ikea. Um, it's just their utility cart. Um, what's really nice about it is that it's on wheels so that you can move it super easily from room to room. I like to keep all of my breast pumping stuff on here and that way if I don't feel like pumping in the nursery, I can just wheel it into the bedroom, pump in there, go into the living room, um, and it's just really nice to have everything in one place. So if you're breastfeeding, I recommend having a dedicated area just for middle of the night feedings so that it's easy, you have everything at your fingertips. Um, I got this little dresser at Ikea and it works really well. I just have um, some burp cloths on the bottom. The middle drawer is where I keep all of my snacks because when you're breastfeeding, you're starving all of the time. Um, and then I keep these coffee cups here because when I'm feeding on one side, I'm using the haka on the other and I don't want to spill it when I take it off. So I put the haka in here. I'll finish up with my baby boy and then I'll come back and get the haka, take it in the kitchen and put the milk in a storage bag. And then on the top shelf here, I just have like some books, some antibacterial wipes and lotion, um, nothing fancy. Next, I want to talk about the dresser. Now, I really liked the idea of getting a regular dresser and then a changing table topper. That way, they can separate and we can continue to use the dresser as my boy gets older. Um, I got this topper off of Wayfair. I'll try to find it enlisted below. But I think I've also found some on Amazon that would work as well. They're really great to have. That way the changing pad isn't like sliding around on the top. Um, and then I love this dresser. It has really deep, big drawers. I have all of our blankets in this bottom one. And then in this, we have his hats, his bibs, socks got little mittens so he doesn't scratch his face and then extra burping claws um, these little dividers we also got at ikea i want to say they came in packs of like six or eight and they were probably only like seven dollars they're really affordable and a great way to organize each drawer so that all of this isn't cluttered together um, and then like I said, we got gifted a lot of hand-me-down clothes. These are all ones that I just know he won't fit in for quite some time. And then in here I have his swaddles and his pants. Um, now I recommend putting like the pants that they are fitting in currently in the front and then ones that they'll fit in eventually in the back so like these are zero to three month and these are three to six month and that way i just know not even to touch those because they don't fit him so it's just a nice easy way to open the drawer and grab a pair without having to you know like shimmy through them all and try to find the right size 
And then it has four smaller drawers on the top, which are actually really nice to have stuff like this. Um, this is kind of a junk drawer, but it, I, I recommend doing this. It's um, a bunch of samples that I received while I was pregnant, um, all the instruction manuals for a bunch of the products that we got. That way I can refer back to them if I don't know how to use something. Um, these blue bags I use for really, really stinky diapers. Um, I also recommend doing that. Um, but yeah, just having like empty boxes so that if you need to find the instructions, you can do it easily. Uh, in this drawer, I just have a bunch of the traditional soft swaddle blankets. We don't use these that often, but they're really nice to have on hand. And then it's nice having a drawer just for like medication stuff. So in here we have um, the Nose Frida diaper rash cream. We have um, like the gripe water and gas relief drops. Uh, the saline solution for the Nose Frida. Vaseline. Just anything that we might need medical wise is in there. And then in this drawer, we have a ton of extra diapers because the last thing you want to do when you're changing is run out of diapers and have a catastrophe on your hands. So it's nice to have a drawer with just a bunch of extras. That way you have them and you don't have to go to another room and mess with that situation. So recommend doing that, definitely. Now on the top of the dresser, it's really nice to have the essentials at the bottom. We have diaper rash cream. <laughs> we also have these really funny teepee or like, what are these called? PP teepees. Um, they're hilarious because they have little wiener dogs on them. So <laughs> my mother-in-law got these for us and they're adorable. Um, your wipes and your diapers. And I actually normally keep a burping cloth up here as well in case he spits up um, but just to have everything right at your fingertips is essential and then on the left I just have you know some hand sanitizer lotion for after bath time and some more um, diaper rash cream but it's just really a nice clean way to have everything you need but it's not cluttered and i talked briefly about this product in my previous video um, this decker diaper pail is so amazing definitely recommend getting one of those and just having it next to your changing station um, that way you can just toss all those dirty stinky poopy diapers in the pail and you're good to go so my last recommendation is finding decorative boxes. Now these two, we just have full of things that our baby will not need for quite some time, but it's a really cute way to decorate the nursery and mask the clutter. So if you can find some boxes that you just think are super cute, put them on the floor, put them on a shelf. It's just a really nice way of making everything look nice and neat and organized. All right, you guys, so that's it for today's video on tips, tricks, and ways to organize your nursery for simple, everyday use. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment down below. I'll see you next time. Bye!